Hi, I'm George Manguel, and I'm one of the leaders for the Wilderness Basics. I'm a COL2, and I want to give you some tips on what I do for a two-day backpack. And so let me show you my pack and some of the things that are inside of it. So I have a Deuters, which is a European pack, and I like the pack. It's a 6510, which means it's expandable, and I can make it smaller or larger depending on how much gear I want to take. And it's really all about the preference that what gear you choose to use. I'm still learning. So let me start out that by saying that I make sure that I know where everything that I'm going to use is so I'm not going through the entire pack. So I'm going to start out with what I keep on the top. So one of the things that I keep, I use prescription glasses. So I have lenses that tint. So I only have to take one set of glasses. And I keep them in a case because mostly I want them for my map reading. Also in my pack, I have at the top of my pack, I have a compass, a plastic bag, a highlighter, and a ruler so that I can measure the distances that I travel. And in there I have a map. I save all of my maps, and I would suggest you do the same when you go to the Wilderness Basics course, because you might visit those places again. I also have a little 3x5 card, which helps me remember some of the things so that I don't confuse when I'm doing land navigation. The other thing that I have is, you never know, uh, last weekend, for instance, one of the places that I went to, this is a mosquito net. And so I carry that if the mosquitoes are heavy, and if not, it's so small, it really doesn't get in the way. Now, one of the things that I'm going to show you is I carry a multitude of water filters. And this is my latest water filter, which I really like. It's very lightweight. You can squeeze it right in the bottle. You can dip the bag right into the stream or wherever you're getting it from. And so I like this because it's really lightweight and it doesn't take a lot of space. That's all I have in my top. The other thing that I use is these two. I have two Nalgene bottles. Now some people use lighter weight bottles. I like these bottles because I have a ceramic water filter that also screws into them that I'll show you in a second. But basically I carry three different kinds of water filtration. It might be overkill but it makes me comfortable. My pack, you can't see it, along the waist it has a pocket and normally in there I carry a camera or I carry my phone. One of the reasons I carry my phone is because it also allows me to take pictures so if I don't want to take the camera I can use the phone and also in case of an emergency I'll be able to call out assuming that I'm within distance and I have perception. So on this pack, uh, people pack their stuff differently. I carry the things that I'm going to need in one space. So one of them in here I carry is my toilet kit. And my toilet kit includes a shovel, hand sanitizer, handy wipes, and uh, toilet tissue which I pack out with me when I leave. The next thing that I carry right there is my 10 essentials bag. Now it depends on how many people I'm going out with but mine is packed so that it's for like helping other people besides myself. So I have a candle, and this is a blanket that they gave me at the end of a marathon that I also use as a wrap. And on one side it's reflective, so if I had to use it to reflect to an aircraft, I can use that. I have multiple, uh, I have here, this is a night light that also has a red light. So when you're in the, around the campfire at night, you don't blind everybody or take the night vision away from them so they can see the stars. So this is one, and if I'm really concerned about weight, I take this one. And this one is a little smaller and it doesn't have the red light. I also carry a sewing kit. I carry a magnifying glass, just in case my cigarette lighter doesn't work and there's sun, I can start a fire. Also, I carry a mirror. This is also for signaling, and in case you're really brave and you want to see what you look like after a day or two in the wilderness, you can use it for that as well. I always carry rope. And the rope is not only helpful for me, but I also use it to help people tie down their tents if it gets windy and we use either rocks or sticks. It just depends on the terrain that we're in. This is the magnifying glass that I was talking about that I can also use to start a fire. And this is my second type of water filtration, which is the drops. And this is actually the one I like the most because it requires the least amount of effort. I carry a whistle, and with that whistle, here's my third light. And it's an extremely small light, but it's very powerful. I carry a thermometer, and attached to that thermometer, I carry a, a Gerber 
kind of all-purpose utility knife, which has a knife, it has screwdrivers, and it has tweezers. In addition to that, in my pocket, I also carry a small pocket knife with a serrated edge. I like using a serrated edge. So the three things that I know are the most important of the wilderness is shelter, water, and fire, if I'm in that kind of a situation. I carry zip ties because zip ties work in all, for all kinds of purposes if something breaks, a tent, a shoe, and I also carry two lighters. Besides that, on my walking sticks, I carry duct tape, and duct tape does everything from fixed tents to closed tents to keep uh, shoe soles on when they fall off. This is my only luxury item, and it's actually a small cushion that when we stop on the trail, I take it out and I can inflate it immediately. And this is my first aid kit. My first aid kit is mostly uh, prepared for blisters, but I carry, in there I carry betadine solution, I carry suntan lotion, and uh, excuse me, sunblock, and I carry Vaseline intensive care for my feet, earplugs, and multiple kinds of medications, and multiple kinds of uh, items for blisters, I also carry women's uh, sanitary napkins, which I use them in the event that someone gets cut, and it's a great way to hold the bleeding or, or minimize the bleeding. This is my sleeping bag. I'm one of those people that like compact things. And this is my mattress, which is an inflatable mattress. Now, I don't use this for the desert. I don't take an inflatable mattress to the desert. I take a closed foam cell, because these may get punctured. Here I have a piece of Tyvek, and my Tyvek is for my tent, to keep my tent covered on the ground when I'm using it in the desert. I also have a set of Teva sandals, which I use when I take off my boots in camp, and they're also great for crossing streams if I need to. I carry all my things in compartments. This is my clothing, and I carry it. In here I have extra socks, undergarments, gloves, handkerchief, everything that I need, so I'm not looking everywhere for it. One of the things that I just learned recently on the backpack is that I take my food in a small plastic container like this, so what it does is it keeps the rodents and the insects out, and I carry one of these little squish containers in case there's any kind of fluid I want to have. And this is my stove with my heating, uh, with my cookware, and I carry two, I carry a spork and a spoon, and I carry them and I put them in different places, because sometimes I misplace something, and I've actually been on trips where people had everything and they couldn't find their spoon. This is my tent. It's a small, lightweight tent. It's a one-person tent, and it's a single-sided tent. I like it. It weighs about a pound and a half. And so part of the comfort in backpacking for me is to try to go as light as possible, but I have to balance that also with practicality. And this is my third type of water filtration system, and this is a ceramic pump. And what I like about this one is that it actually screws onto the top of the bottle so I can let it float in the stream. So I can choose whichever one I want. This is my jacket, which is a down jacket. And these are my rain pants. And rain pants are really great not only for the rain, but if you find yourself where you're really cold, you can put them on and it's another layer of clothing. In here I have a jacket that also serves as a windbreaker and also a poncho. Uh, another way to retain. Here's my waterproof hat and a lightweight poncho. So I carry a lot of different things to keep me warm. This is my day pack. I like using a padded day pack. Some day packs are really light. This one also holds my water bottles. So I have that. And this is my toiletries kit. And in here I have toothpaste, uh, uh, hairbrush, and so a, uh, some floss. And I, I can't get away from all the arm deodorant, and I still carry on the arm deodorant. <laughs> and that pretty much sums it up. Oh, the one, two, just two last items that I want to cover really quickly. Just to keep my family, this is an accessory that's not part of the 10 essentials, but I use this when I travel all over the world, and it's called Spot. And when I press the button, it sends an email to my family, and lets them know exactly where I am. And I have a cup, which I keep to the outside of my pack. I like using a plastic cup because it insulates my lip when I'm heating something up. That pretty much covers all of the gear I can tell you as quickly as I can. Thanks. Hope you have a good trip on the trail.